So y'all should know that Konjak is one of my heroes for what he has done and can do with game development. Konjak, the guy who made Noi to Love and perhaps one of my favorite, my absolute favorite games, Noi to Love 2. So in 2007, he started making a game called Ivory Springs. Shortly after that, he abandoned the project, but you can find videos of Ivory Springs, I did a playthrough of it here on the channel, but shortly after that, in 2000, I want to say 9, he picked up the project again. This time under the name Iconoclasts. And many years later, the game finally was released. Welcome to Let's Try Iconoclasts. This is a game I have been waiting for with bated breath for 10 years. And it's finally here, finally released. Konjak has poured everything he has into it and I'm doing a Let's Try because I want to know, I want to experience this game alongside all of you. Okay, so here on the title screen, of course, um, every, every ah, it's all so conjac. Um, settings, sound, music, screen mode, windows eyes, yada yada yada. Uh, using a gamepad for this one. I played a little bit of it with the keyboard. Very much felt like a gamepad game. But otherwise, starting to game up, there's standard hard mode. I'm just gonna play in standard. It says standard, and I'm a standard guy. And honestly, I'm kind of in the mood for not pulling my hair out. We're here! We are Robin. We have a stun gun and some pretty crazy hair. That's okay though, I'm a fan of pretty crazy hair. So those of you who have seen the Ivory Springs videos, you'll note the beginning of this feels very, very similar. Well, poop. Now, just to make sure everything was running and um, figuring out how everything was going, I have played through a little bit of the beginning of this. Um, I also played through that little bit earlier when I played through one of the various demos um, that was put together. But it shouldn't be long before we hit to the, get to the point that is completely blind. So you can ledge, ledge grab. You can shoot, guys. Of note is the gun that I have is actually just a stun gun. I mean, it does the job against these random duders. And you can see that little building. Off in the distance. I mean, it's a city, not a building. I can see multiple buildings. But the. Oh my goodness, the animation is amazing. Just like, look at Robin's idle animation. I couldn't even tell you. There's probably like. I don't know, like nine frames of animation, and it's beautiful. I think it's funny that Konjak has said he actually doesn't prefer pixel art. 
he's just faster at it. And that's why the entire game is in pixel art. Improvium. Like, he doesn't didn't necessarily sit down and say, I want to make a pixel art game. He said he's just faster at it. So you can hold down the gun and shoot a bigger gun. Look at that tiny little robin in the video, in the, in the pictures. And then for a short time, you can't shoot. Keys. Get to play some Mario 2. Keys go in chest. You may remember these. I'm probably going to forget very quickly that I can do that. Metallium, the most metallic of metals. And over here we see... This is house three. And that is a noise. Got like a little check, check mark. So that's nice to know that like there was a checkpoint there. So if you die or something, it's a guy. The boss fight as well, like, this is so reminiscent of Noi 2 Love. Well, Noi 2 Love, too. Which, like, yeah, it's made by the same guy. Just like the way the guy, the thing bounces down. So for the time being, he only has a uh, couple moves you really gotta worry about. The music as well, um, I will remind everyone, this entire game, 100% of it, was made by one guy. The art, the game design, the music, everything. Down it goes. And then we get another little checkpoint. And then the music picks back in, just like, eh. Yeah. What happened there? Eh. I still find it so immensely impressive that this was done by one guy. All of it. Music, everything. I don't know what this is in the background. I'm sure it'll be important later, though. So this one we cannot break. And now we're back where we were before! And now we can run in here if we so choose. Hey, there's somebody in my house! We can break those. These, however, are save points. I did it! I saved my game! Okay, well, not a, else, not a lot else I can do, so who's in my house? say anything.
I still didn't say anything. What if I am? You'll notice this intro, and this cutscene in particular, has changed almost not at all since Ivory Springs, and it's still amazing. We have a wrench now. I'm gonna spin it around. We can jump up and wrench things. So we've just been introduced to a little bit of story, without a lot of explanation, about the world and the setting and everything that's been going on. Yes, yes. We can wrench! Got a wrench, that nut. You can pound blocks by hitting the jump button in the air. You have to press it down, though. Butt stomp. And you can, just as a reminder, you can also stomp enemies! Yeah. So what we've gathered, though, and judging from the fact that we have a wrench, I'd be willing to bet it's reasonably accurate. Oh, that's like a guard, I guess. So now we're learning that we have to potentially push those up multiple times. Yeah, I tried. Dead it. And they don't always go up the same height. And sometimes you can't cap them off. You can tell you capped it off when the nut turns red. And what we've gathered though is potentially We've been doing some fixing! And this may not necessarily be a good thing, at least as far as... the higher-ups are concerned. But we just want to help people! Just gotta make everybody's life a nice, happy little place. A place where everybody can live, and be happy, and content. I did it. I opened the door. Ah, that's a deer. So that deer has pointy crap on him. So you cannot jump on him. But we got a key from him. Which I can use to unlock that. And then I can wrench the door open and leave. Robin's running animation is so great. Like, I love how much personality it has to it instead of just an average run, but also the actual animation work for it is beautiful. I tried. Okay, well, you can just be down there, I guess. It's a deer.
Take that, random animal. Okay, it turns out I can't actually do anything down here, but it's probably best that I took that thing out because I feel like we're gonna have to go this way. Yeah, I can't go that way. Not turned red, our job is done. Yeah, so what's, what exactly is going on with the higher-ups, we don't know yet, but we know that they don't like that we are fixing things. They also mentioned something about ivory. It being a sin for, some, for a random person. There's a little bit of homing, too. Like, when I do the stomp, if there's an enemy just a little bit off, you home. Like, it's just... Ah, crap, dear. It's just, like, the little quality of life stuff. The fact that there's... If an enemy is kind of within range, but not quite, your gun auto-aims to them. Okay, so we gotta that key up there so we can go get that chest. Also with these nuts, you can press... Like, kind of anything that feels like it should work, you can. Like, you can press the wrench button again to keep wrenching, or you can press down. And then you can just l press a direction off of it. You don't have to, like... Press a specific button in order to let go of the wrench or whatever. Technium. I don't know what any of these do. I know you can you do like tweaks and stuff to improve your crap, but I don't know much about that right now. Settlement 17. Hey, that's that place what they said they were talking about. We should go there. You can slide down the ladders. Going up the ladders is a little slower, but you can just slide down them real easy. Okay, so, um, this puzzle, oddly enough, was exactly here in, um, I think Ivory Springs. No, no, maybe it wasn't Ivory Springs. Maybe it was in, um, just a demo. Like, the early release demo. There we go. So you do that, so locks him over there. All the things you can do with wrenches. Can we raise that up again so we can go down, so we can go up? I don't know if you can fight this guy. I wanna try doing I wanna try doing the thing. I I timed it wrong. I'll try again. It doesn't do him a lot of health. I did it! It didn't actually help. Me. So I have a key. That key is what I need in order to progress. Right here. And through we are! We've made it! To Settlement 17. What? Until next time, everyone, there are houses here, and a church, and people.